turned out to be quite a cloudy Columbus day across much of Region 8. But if you turn your attention a little bit farther westward, quite a bit of rain now approaching eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas. That's in response to a cold front that's draped across the Midwest. Check out that big spiral there in Northern Plains area. That is a strong low pressure system and the Storm Prediction Center actually has a severe weather watch, a severe thunderstorm watch in central Kansas. We're not expecting any kind of that weather, just widespread rainfall over the next 24 hours, but nothing yet. Storm track Doppler rate all quiet despite the stratus clouds that have moved in throughout the afternoon and evening. We're now picking up some light rain in Stone Izzard, Baxter, Fulton County. I uh, don't think this is actually reaching the ground yet, but it will give it a little bit of time as we go throughout the next several hours. You'll start to see a few showers build in from the west and points eastward. We're going to stop this at 11 p.m. Still have a chance for a few showers. Our westernmost counties, the main rain event will not arrive until mid morning for many of us. Check it out. 9 a.m. Tuesday, Batesville, Heber Springs, Mountain View, some spotty showers there, as well as Jonesboro, Harrisburg and Wynn. And then we stop around lunchtime or about 1.30. Quite a bit of heavy rainfall. Jonesboro, Perigold, down through Piggott, up through Blyville, Manila, back toward Carruthersville, and uh, parts of uh, Kennett as well. So one round of heavy rain in the books, but it's going to be coming again. Another round of rain about 9 p.m. Some more showers and thunderstorms. Mountain View, Batesville, Pocahontas, Perigold, Jonesboro, right there in the dead center of the, the area shaded in orange, red, yellow. That means the heaviest rain will be along Crowley's Ridge tomorrow evening. Folks, by the time this system moves out, we could be dealing with an easily an inch of rainfall. Not a whole lot of good news for those farmers trying to get all the, the crops out of the field right now. But the good news is it will begin to dry off early Wednesday with a return of partial sunshine. Maybe that will dry off those crops and get you back into those fields. And again, a look at Stormcast rainfall totals. The heaviest axis of rain now are going to be centered along I-40 and Highway 64, Highway 14. So keep that in mind. It looks like the morning commute may be okay. But keep in mind, you may need an umbrella, especially as you head into the uh, lunchtime hour and especially during the evening drive home. Not tracking any rainfall right now. Looking at the sky cam and hardy, just overcast skies. That's been the story for the day. And here in Jonesboro, much of the same. It's not affecting traffic uh, very much. We're looking at all clear conditions there for as far as driving is concerned. Quite a bit of traffic down Stadium Boulevard. Look toward the horizon there. That's Highland Drive. And we're not tracking uh, any problems as far as travel is concerned this evening. Where temperatures, Jonesboro, mid 70s, as well as Harrisburg, 77 in Paragold. So, yeah, we dealt with quite a bit of cloud cover today. It's actually held down our temperatures. If it weren't for the clouds, we'd be talking about low 80s right now. Well, it's 70 in Hardy, 66 West Plains, also the number in Mountain Home. Dew points are also uh, creeping up, getting closer to those temperatures. We're in the upper 50s West Plains in Mountain Home, mid 60s in Newport and West Memphis. And the closer that number gets to that temperature, we could be dealing with a little fog. We could also uh, be dealing with some very heavy rain through the overnight. We're going to see a low of 63 in Jonesboro tonight, a northeast wind at 5 to 10. Can't rule out a few uh, sprinkles, a few showers, especially for our uh, my friends in the northwestern half of the state and then rain moving in by the morning. Keep in mind, we're going to need an umbrella throughout the day. A southeast wind at 5 to 10 looks like a soggy Tuesday. Highs in the lower 70s. That number will be falling, especially during the afternoon as that cold front moves in. A south wind at 10 to 20, so it's going to be rainy. It's going to be windy, cloudy, just a dreary, messy Tuesday afternoon. We have a 90% chance of rain highlighted in that seven day forecast. And then temperatures much cooler behind the cold front Wednesday, Thursday, 66, 67 degrees. Waking up in the morning, upper 40s, lower 50s. We're looking at a high temperature on Friday of 70. Mostly sunny skies, but we're going to be dealing with those hit or miss showers throughout Saturday morning and then drying out Sunday, Monday, and possibly into the beginning of next week in the midweek area as well. Temperatures returning to that seasonal average of 74 degrees as early as this time next week. So uh, I highlighted this in the 5 p.m. show. Uh, windshield wipers on, headlights on. That is state law.